Welcome to Vacuum Wars, and to a new series we're calling Air Purifier Wars. We've tested a lot of air purifiers over the years, but as a part of Vacuum Wars 2.0, which I'll talk more about in the coming weeks, we've developed an all-new system for testing and scoring air purifiers with new tests and a new 34-point inspection process, which we hope will become the gold standard for unbiased, not sponsored air purifier reviews on the internet. This week, we're testing two of the most expensive air purifiers on the market, the IQ Air Health Pro Plus and the GreenTech Environmental Pure Air Active HEPA Plus Pro. First, the basics. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus shows up as number one on many lists of best air purifiers, mostly because of its extremely high quality filtration process, which includes a large pre-filter on the bottom that traps coarse particles like pollen, pet dander, and mold spores, a huge HEPA filter on the top, which IQ Air designed themselves, and call a hyper HEPA system, which they say can trap particles down to 0.003 microns, which is 100 times smaller than normal HEPA filters are rated for. But the big difference is their massive Massive activated carbon module. This is what absorbs odors, gases, and chemicals and VOCs like formaldehyde. This contains the most activated carbon I've ever seen on a consumer air purifier, and it really makes IQ Air stand apart when it comes to VOC and odor reduction. Green Tech Environmental is a relative newcomer to the market, and their Pure Air Active HEPA Plus Pro is all about new technology. It uses a traditional HEPA filter in combination with bipolar ionization and photocatalytic oxidation, which uses UV light to create molecules that actively purify the air. It also has a special coating on the HEPA filter called OdoGuard, which breaks down chemical compounds that cause odors. The first category we'll look at is features. These are things that don't help with air purification necessarily, but are nice to have. As you can see, the Green Tech absolutely dominated this category, scoring 88 points to only 19 points for the IQ Air. For example, the Green Tech has a built-in particle sensor where the IQ Air does not. This allows it to sense when the air is dirty and it will tell you on the screen as well as change color. The particle sensor also allows it to have an auto mode where when it senses that the air is dirty, it will automatically increase the fan power, which is a pretty useful feature. The Green Tech Environmental also has an app where you can monitor basic air quality, temperature, and humidity. It also has Amazon Alexa compatibility and a sleep mode where the IQ Air does not. But the IQ Air also lost points here because of its size. We give it a cubic inches score, where smaller is always better, and you can see that it's just a massive product compared to the Green Tech. It's like a piece of furniture all on its own, so it's definitely something you need to consider where you will put it in your house. Moving on to the bench tests, the IQ Air has six power levels to the Green Tech's five, and in our airflow tests, the IQ Air was significantly more powerful with its larger fan. We measured 127 CFM on max power with the IQ Air compared to 71 CFM on the Green Tech, which is close to double the amount of airflow. Noise level is really important with air purifiers. You want an air purifier that gives you the most airflow, CFM, for each decibel. And here we took an average of three of their settings and found that the IQ Air was about 25% more efficient, putting out an average of one CFM per decibel, compared to three quarters of a CFM per decibel on the Green Tech. During the bench tests, we also measure the cubic inches of the filters, because when it comes to air purifiers, the more filter media, the better, generally speaking. And here, the IQ Air was the clear winner, with its massive 676 cubic inch HEPA filter, which is easily double the size of the Green Tech's. And as I mentioned before, the IQ Air also has a better rating with its hyper HEPA filter compared to the Green Tech's. The Green Tech does not have a carbon filter. Instead, it uses its photocatalytic and ionization systems for VOC and odor reduction, but the IQ Air, as I said earlier, has a large module, especially compared to the control air purifier, which had a typical treated carbon filter. Moving on to our new filtration tests, and the first one is the fog test, which is basically a test of an air purifier's HEPA filter and fan speed. We distribute fog into a room with no vents for 12 seconds, and then measure how quickly the particles are reduced per minute from peak to trough. This way it doesn't matter exactly how much fog was distributed, only how fast it reduced the particles. Here the IQ Air was able to clear 41 particles per minute compared to 34 per minute on the Green Tech and only 22 on the control unit. I suspect that when we get more air purifiers tested in this way, we'll find that the IQ Air and Green Tech scores here are way above average, but we will see. The next test is a TVOC test, that is total volatile organic compounds and a formaldehyde test. I used incense in a ventless room 
room for this test, so it's also kind of a smoke and smell test. With the incense test, I also measure the particles reduced per minute, like with the fog test, but because I can be more sure that the amount of smoke released is more or less the same for each test, I also measure the average number of particles released from baseline to baseline, multiplied by the minutes it took it to go from baseline to baseline, where the lower the score is, the better. And the results were interesting, because not only did the IQ Air beat the Green Tech in both cases, the very inexpensive control unit also beat the Green Tech. I did some research and found that someone else had done a similar test with different VOCs, but had nearly identical results. They found that air purifiers with carbon filters, like the IQ Air and the control unit, did much better than those that used other technologies like photocatalytic systems. I did some more digging and found this article in Nature, which says that although there are lots of benefits to photocatalytic systems for VOC reduction, one of its limitations is that it's very slow at reducing VOCs. So a test like the one I and this other person did really aren't the best way to showcase the VOC reducing properties of photocatalytic systems. If you look on the Green Tech environmental website, you'll see that they have some actual laboratory tests published there, and you can see that they have some pretty impressive stats at reducing VOCs in odors, but you can also see that the tests they did are often much longer in duration, like five days per test on a few of them and a 14-day duration test on another. I did do a longer duration VOC test and found that they were both able to reduce VOCs to the same level over a longer period of time, but it should be noted that in a house, VOCs often show up all of a sudden and in high amounts like in the test I did, which is why in the Nature article it suggests that photocatalytic systems, as revolutionary as they are, should ideally be hybrid systems with carbon filters as well so that they can deal with sudden high amounts of VOCs as well. So take my non-professional, non-laboratory tests here with a grain of salt, but that being said, I'll keep the scores I have and move on. The final category is value and these two units are priced almost exactly the same, but we also have to take into account their filter replacement costs. I calculated the IQ Air's filter replacement cost at $150 per year, compared to the Green Tech at $175 per year. Though the Green Tech does not have a carbon filter, its photocatalytic unit does need to be replaced every one to two years, so it's not that much of a cost savings. So after counting up all the points, the winner for the very first Air Purifier Wars is the IQ Air Health Pro Plus 87 to 76. How will these numbers compare to other air purifiers on the market? I have no idea, but we'll be testing a lot more air purifiers this year, so links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars and check out our website, vacuumwars.com, before you leave. Thanks for watching.